I just realized that when I talk, especially when I talk in front of camera, I always go So I filmed this intro part already once and I kept doing that. So I'm gonna film it again. Basically, it's Friday, 5 p.m. I'm gonna go bring you guys on a little flip journey. I have been very much inspired by these Instagram posts of people drifting men's blazers into like a cropped blazer top and a cute matching skirt. We're gonna go do that, so I'll see you at the thrift shop. We're here. A lot of people in Montreal go thrifting in Village de Valeur near De Carry, but I'm telling you, you have to go to places where other people don't go. So. I'm on the South Shore and there's a renaissance here that's humongous. We're here. Okay, it is the next day. Um, yesterday we went thrifting and I found this for only... 775 Canadian. This is what it looks like on me. I really like the fit. It's a super snug fit. It's actually such a good fit that last night I kind of had a moment where I was like, do I actually want to thrift flip this? So I asked you guys what you thought on Instagram and I mean, the majority still voted that I thrift flip it, especially because it's pretty similar to a blazer I already own. So I'm just gonna go for it, you know. It was only eight dollars quick disclaimer i have no idea how this is gonna turn out because um every time i thrift flip i kind of just go with the flow so far they've all turned out well so i just laid it flat and i marked the spot where i want to cut um it's about three inches above where the pocket holes are and basically exactly where this fold ends So definitely I'm gonna have to sew that together so that my butt isn't showing. Oh, it might be a little small. Let's see. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Um, this is a lot harder than I realized because there are many layers which I mean, I guess I should have expected, but I I didn't. Um, and now I am struggling, so yeah. Also, I realized that yes, it was a good fit on my shoulders, but perhaps it wasn't long enough to even turn into a blazer set in the first place. So, you know, it might not turn out cute. It really might not. Just take a look at how many layers there are in this blazer. I don't know what to do with any of this. Um, so I was a little rushed and I kind of cut too much fabric off. So now it looks a little dumb, but I'm gonna try to fix it by putting a patch on it and hopefully it won't be too noticeable. You know, it's fine. The top is done. So it is a little shorter than I expected, but I definitely want to give enough um, material for the skirt. And yeah, let's go do the skirt. I'm actually really nervous. I don't know if it's gonna turn out well. I made a little waistband. I don't know, thought it would look cute. So I did that. This is kind of what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go over this with the iron and then I'm gonna finish the waistband and then see how it looks wrapped around, adjust the buttons and we're done. I am almost done. I'm just fixing up the skirt. So I've pinned down some alterations that I still have to make and I'm doing the rest by hand just because number one, I'm running out of string and I feel like by hand you use a little less string. Second, they're like kind of detailed. So it's a little harder to do with the machine.
Okay, so this is the final product. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. It's exactly what I was looking for, but I will say I really underestimated the number of layers that a blazer has. It just got messy and I probably encountered three different incidents that I had to fix, but it paid off. If you're new to thrift flipping, then you probably want to check out another video that I'm hoping to film very soon. Um, it was another tot that I had made on my Instagram, so now that I know how to make it, I can definitely make a decent tutorial, and it's so easy to make. So stick around for that, you know, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.